Be seated. After two years in detention, Hashim Thatchi was in court to face charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity. I understand the indictment and I'm fully not guilty. Thatchi and his three co-accused were all senior figures in the Kosovo Liberation Army and later prominent politicians. They're charged with 10 counts of persecution, torture, murder and forced disappearance of opponents and alleged pro-Serbian collaborators. The indictment charges and we intend to prove hundreds of detentions across Kosovo, usually under terrible conditions of abuse and over 100 murders. Most of the victims of the accused were fellow Kosovar Albanians. The Kosovo Liberation Army launched a guerrilla war against Serbian rule in 1998. Serbian attacks on Kosovar Albanian civilians prompted intervention by NATO forces and an end to fighting in 1999. Five senior Serbian officials were convicted of war crimes in 2009, but the former president, Milan Milutinovic, was acquitted. His predecessor, Slobodan Milosevic, had already died in custody. Daci went from military leader to the prime minister who declared Kosovan independence in 2008. Joe Biden called him his nation's George Washington. But in 2020, now President Thatchi was indicted. He resigned and was extradited to the Netherlands, vowing to clear his name. Thatchi and his co-accused argue they had nothing to do with crimes carried out by others in a decentralized guerrilla force. What is he running from? What is he trying to hide? Thatchi's supporters rallied outside the court, many Kosovans watching back home accused of anti-KLA bias. It's not only the just war of the KLA that's being judged, the state of Kosovo is also on trial. They are not only condemning these people, but they are condemning the effort, the war that the whole world supported. What's not in dispute is that this trial will be lengthy. The prosecution says it needs two years just to set out its case. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera. Andrea Lorenzo Caposella earlier headed the economics unit of the International Civilian Office in Kosovo. He says the conclusion of a report by the Council of Europe formed the basis for the trial, ending a two-decade delay. The reason why it took two decades to, to begin this trial is given in the report which is the basis for this trial. It is a Council of Europe report, uh, published first in 2010 and then approved in 2011 by a Swiss senator. Uh, and this report um, summarizes ample alleged evidence of the war crimes and also the violent methods by which the former KLA leaders later used their military power to gain political and economic power in Kosovo. There is a, this report summarizes this evidence and says that the impunity of these people is explained by the elimination and intimidation of witnesses on one hand, and by the fact that Western powers decided not to act upon the evidence, uh, overwhelming, he says, overwhelming evidence of the war crimes of these uh, guerrilla leaders. This is what the report says, and the report is, in, in fact, the basis for this trial. So there is a, there is also, there are also some political choices made by Western powers, those who were in charge of uh, the, the reconstruction of Kosovo after the war.